And here we are again, Tackstar fans, with the TS671s. Now, these are officially the biggest headphone I've ever reviewed. If you look up the Abyss headphones, which I had tried at the audio show, they were like that big. That's, that's, that's retarded. No one's head is that big. When you wear them, that sticks up over your head and you look like that. You're not sexy in these. These are not going to beat a set of souls or beats in looks. But they will definitely beat souls or beats in sound. Now, being this big and open, and this is this is just a piece of fabric covering a very, very large grid of plastic. I can feel it. Uh, you are going to have sound leakage anyway, so it doesn't matter. You're not using these in public. Let me get off on this start of these headphones have really impressed and upset me. Because I really liked the other tax stars, the uh, 2050s. They had a couple quirks, and you get around them. And these I really like, as if they have a couple quirks. And getting around them is going to be, no, no, a little harder to do. Let's start with the wire. Look at that. It's a short wire. That's a portable wire. It's got the coil. Great. Why the hell does it default to a fucking six and a half? Why? Why do you put the, the short... See, in the day, in the day, and I'm going to say the day was six years ago. No. There's going to be a lot of that in these reviews unless I dance, let her dance around on the table. Um, this used to indicate I have professional headphones... They need a lot of quality power. So they put a quarter inch adapter on it. So you had to use a receiver or something massive to power it. But these are like the most efficient headphones I've ever used. I mean, they're like 120 ohm. Fine. I have, have more efficient headphones. But, you know, my little portable here has no problem pushing them to ear bleeding levels with quality. There's no, no problem with it. So now you've got to attach this, which it comes with. And that sort of makes portable use stupid. So, comes with a short cable, fine. Comes with a short quarter inch cable, damn it. Doesn't attach. No. A lot of these cables just don't attach, and it would be nice if it did, then you could fix this whole goddamn problem. But, uh, if I'm going to keep these, I may, I may not. This is definitely a candidate for removable cable mod, because that's just a giant space there. The size of your thumb. This tensioning system, this tensioning system is not going to work very long because that is all that it is. It's a piece of elastic cloth. And I had these exact same ones on like a set of car covers that I used at home. And in about three years, these just went, uh, uh, they didn't give a shit anymore and they just died. So for now, for now, this is just a piece running through this. This it's actually really nice. I this this should be a much much hot, AKG should take a, a piece of this and like oh yeah that's what it's supposed to feel like. That's just I just don't trust that to last for like five years. In three years, these are gonna be like Ugh. Ugh. never rest them on that. The long the longer you can give that without tension, the better it'll be. Uh, the clamp is hard. It's got a high clamp. It's, bam, smash into your skull. And it's a bit distracting, actually. Because I've got such such other, better, more comfortable headphones. And I don't have to deal with that anymore. And that's, you know, that's what, I, mean, I guess you could, I mean, this is just a metal spring band in here. You could see it with rubber on it. Which I glued on, actually. So you could probably, like... Get rid of some of that. Look at the size of that. Probably get rid of some of that with a little bit of exercise on these uh, these bent corners. I'm not going to do it currently because I'm not sure if I'm giving these away or keeping them. I'm probably going to give them away. I mean, do I need Taxstar T's S six seven ones when I have ADX two thousands? AD two thousand X's. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. The cups. Big, big. They're big. They still don't have a big, as big a hole as I would like. You know, 
NVX is over there. They have a bigger actual hole. So these, although you can get these around your ear, they're definitely that shape and that size. You got to stretch them a little bit. Again with the goatsy, the goatsy joke. Okay. So once you get them on, and once you get used to the clamp, they're pretty damn comfortable. How do they sound? Well, I'm going to put these in line with a uh, $200 set of open cans. And these are 70 or at least they were at the time of this review. So, of the three pair of headphones that I got at the same time, I basically got these, a set of Sony MA900s, and a set of, and the AD2000Xs, which are like insanely, the price goes from 70 to 220 to 470. And these are the most neutral of the three. For those three, you put these on, the bass is smooth and clean, the mid-range is good, and the highs don't hurt or anything, it's perfect. Uh, so, they're neutral. They're very neutral. I played a little bit of gaming with them, just a little bit. They sounded amazing. The uh, sound stage, because look at the size of that, is not quite exaggeratory, but you definitely get a sense of where these are sitting on your head. Front and back sounds happen. Another thing that bothers me about them is this. They do twist like that, right? Which is good because I complained about other sets of headphones that didn't twist like that. But these take so much pressure to twist that, you know, if you put them on your head and they just rested and they found where they had to go, that'd be great. They don't. So you twist them like that and that's the way they stay on your head. You twist them like that and that's the way they stay in your head. I wish these were a little looser. I've been working them for two weeks now and they still don't loosen up. I'm wondering if I can go in there and rectify that. It may just be a big piece of rubber in there that they have to keep it from flopping around. I'd rather have it flop than be that stiff because then it just, it just stays that way. So once you get them on, I mean this plastic is not gonna, gonna win them any build awards ever. But I don't think, they're so big. And so, you know, every component is massive. So I don't think it's going to just shatter. If they went really dainty, shattering would occur. So, yeah. Are these better than the 2050s? In sound quality, yes. These are more neutral than the 2050s. 2050s had a little bit more fun in the low end. 2050s may have been more comfortable than these. That's Here's another thing. Okay, these are gigantic. Giant doesn't mean comfortable. The 2050s had a nice thick padded headband and the cups were a little bit bigger. They weren't, they didn't, I'm sorry, the cups hole was a little bit bigger and the clamp was less. The clamp is important. Clamp determines a lot of things. That's why I use the NVXs versus the Brainwaves. I spent $60 more on the Brainwaves when I bought them, and I had them for a month and a half, and said, oh, the NVXs, I better check those. And I used those for $80 versus these for $140, and they were basically the same thing, because the clamp was less. So, if you can get rid of this clamp, this hard clamp issue, because it's an open headphone, so you really shouldn't have a hard clamp. Closed headphones, at least a hard clamp, you know, gets a better seal, and it locks out sound better. There's no reason for an open headphone to have a hard clamp unless it has no way to hold on your head. And this will hold it on your head. That system works fine. It's just going to fail in a bit. So, overall, I like them. God, why? Why? I even like the coiled cord. It's got the right amount. This could be slightly shorter. And then this is nice and a tight coil. It's small. And it's, it's built for portable use. It's a built for portable cord and then they put a goddamn quarter inch nothing comes with a quarter inch anymore if your headphones come with a quarter inch they haven't been watching the news or buying any other consumer products right i'm out of that fit i still want quarter inch in my equipment here's the here's my thinking i want i wish this had a quarter inch i wish it had a quarter inch because then i wouldn't be worried about doing that and then twisting it really hard 
and that breaking. I don't want that to break. I give a shit about this. It's a headphone cord. I can replace it. Can't replace that. Can't replace here. My goddamn XDA2. It's got an, a, 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 a three and a half millimeter. Right? This is a $250 DAC made of aluminum. It's got a little goddamn uh, three and a half millimeter. That means when I plug this in, now with adapter upon adapter, look at the leverage I have on that. Imagine if I just yanked this really hard, what's gonna break? Maybe it'll be this tip, maybe, or maybe it'll be that. I wish this could plug in there and get a nice solid, like look at this. That is never gonna break. That's a never gonna break scenario. And that's fine. When you have the reverse of this, when you could put the quarter inch adapter, and you can put one of these on and do that, then that's fine also. You're not breaking your equipment. You're just gonna break your actual little thing on your headphone wire. I don't care about headphone wires. I care about equipment. Damn it, manufacturers. Take me literally. I think I'm done talking about these. It's time for a sound demo. And I did promise a Brainwave HM5 slash NVX sound demo. So that will also be coming at a random point in the week. They clamp so hard. Let me just rock some tunes real fast. And get my adapter on there. By the way, a portable with a quarter inch. You'd be boss. I don't know what it is. I've been rocking so much Michael Jackson since I moved out here. Oh yeah, by the way, there's um Granted that's loud. It's loud to listen to, but if you're listening loud, everybody knows about it. Everybody knows about it. Chewbacca knows about it. Kill. Kill. So, in conclusion, want to be for public use. They're not because of that and because of that. And they're very good.